Munster will enter the competitive season off the back of a comprehensive 31-point victory over Worcester Warriors in the Kiris Renault Series, in which they scored seven tries. Off the back of the previous weekend's win over Zebra, James Cronin came in to join Niall Scannell and John Ryan in the front row, while on his 23rd birthday, South African John Klein made his first Munster appearance in partnering captain Billy Holland in the second row. Tommy O'Donnell joined the back row at open side with Dave O'Callaghan and Jack O'Donoghue, remaining in situ at six and eight respectively. Overcoming a quad injury, Tyler Blaindal returned to partner Duncan Williams in the halfbacks, while in the midfields, a new pairing saw Rory Scannell team up with academy player Dan Goggin, who made his first senior start. Last weekend's try scorers, Darren Sweetnam and Roland O'Mahony, remained on the wings, with Simon Zebo taking charge at full back. Named on the bench, recent academy graduate Alex Wooden was in line to win his first senior cap. From a Worcester perspective, one of the biggest cheers of the night was reserved for Munster's most capped player, Donico O'Callaghan, who travelled with Warriors in facing his native province for the first time, receiving rapturous applause when both entering and exiting the field of play. On six minutes, a Tyler Blaindahl kick brought Munster deep into the Worcester 22, and when the visitors failed to claim their own line-out, Niall Scannell was the first to pounce. Making good yards, the hooker was held up just short, but a couple of recycles later, James Cronin crashed over for the opening try of the game, Blaindahl slotting the extras and Munster leading 7-0. Munster again just minutes later when Worcester failed to release the tackled player in front of the posts on 14 minutes and then Blaindale made sure the hosts were out to a 10-0 lead. Another penalty presented itself in front of the post on 21 minutes and this time Munster opted for the scrum, a move that paid dividends. With the upper hand at set piece from the off, Munster forced the penalty with each hit and by the third reset, referee Dan Jones had seen enough awarding the penalty try in 25 minutes and Blaindell made a 3 from 3 with the boot. Huge intensity and physicality from Razzy Rasmus's men was rewarded with their third try in 31 minutes. Billy Holland, Jack O'Donoghue, Tommy O'Donnell, Jean Klein and more all made the hard yards before Simon Zebo touched down. Blaindell's conversion was again inch perfect. The Munster out half also acquitted himself beautifully with ball in hand, and it was his perfectly weighted kick that set up the try of the half. In a textbook backline try, Zebo collected the kick ahead before a wonderfully executed reverse pass to Rory Scannell. He in turn found centre partner Dan Goggin, and just like the previous weekend against Zebre, Darren Sweetenham was in the right place at the right time to finish off the move. Blaindal made it a clean sweep from his boot in adding the extras. Munster continued from where they left off upon the resumption, and on 54 minutes, used both physical prowess and sharpness in attack in crossing for their fifth try. With replacement Ian Keatley kicking to the corner, a strong Munster Mall made the initial headway before replacement scrum half to Moss Aleri, Rowe can found Ronan O'Mahony on his right, the winger continuing his fine tradition of bagging tries at Irish Independent Park. A Josh Adams try converted by replacement out half, Ryan Lamb eventually got Worcester off the mark on 60 minutes, but their reprieve was short-lived, as Munster's replacements more than made their mark in the game. On his first senior appearance, Alex Wharton's turnover provided the catalyst for Munster's sixth try, as soon after, Academy back row Conor Oliver made an excellent break before finding Keon Bahan on his shoulder. The centre was clean in under the post for his first try and Keatley made it a full seven point return. With bodies tiring, the defence lapsed a little as the game entered the final quarter and Worcester crossed for their second try in 69 minutes through GJ Van Belts. But again, Munster's reply was more than swift, this time Keatley making an excellent read and intercept to dot down and convert his own try on 71 minutes. The visitors did have the final say as Perry Humphreys crossed for the last try of the game with Lamb again converting, but that was scant consolation for the Premiership outfit as Munster emerged as comprehensive and deserved winners on a 52-21 scoreline. Afterwards, Munster players and O'Callaghan took to the field and met with fans to thank them for their wonderful support on the night and Erasmus's men will return to Cork for round two of the Guinness Pro 12 facing Cardiff Blues on Friday September 9th at 7.35pm. Tickets available online at monsterrugby.ie. Yeah, the way the turns it on in Cork and we had a great week's preparation so you know a good result against Worcester who were very tough and physical and we expected that but we're very happy with the way we played. And for yourself coming back after a long layoff after the quad, must be nice to get out there and get all those kicks. Yeah, it was great. I mean, just even getting on the field, the kicking was a bonus and there are definitely nerves in the stomach this morning, which is great. You know, it's been a long time and I was just this proud moment to put the Munster jersey back on again. It's probably one of the best pitches in Ireland, I'd say, especially this time of the year. So the weather agreed with us as well. We try to move the ball and keep it alive, but I think we put a lot of things from the training field onto the game today, which is great. So two pre-season games down and we play for keeps next week and that's the exciting part and that's what all this work's been, you know, that's what we put it in for. So momentum's great, but obviously there's still hard work to do and Scarlets will be a different beast. So hey, we're happy with the win and, and the way we play it and then we prepare for Scarlets and we try knocking them over too.